Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. This is a reaction to USA versus Europe intelligence. This channel is a bit of a troll. So, I mean, although it may offend you, it is just a bit of a joke. I mean, I just think it's a bit of humour, to be honest. I don't think any of these videos that I've reacted to are ever serious. Um, and, yeah, but we're going to see this. Again, when it's versus Europe, I feel like um, the UK is out of the equation or England's out of the equation. Because I feel like Europe hates England and whatever it is so i assume he's relating it from like continental europe um as opposed to like the uk or that could be wrong maybe it's just england's out of this but um it keeps shaking it's making a sound can you hear that no there's nothing coming out um, um and yeah we're gonna check this out hopefully going to enjoy hopefully this doesn't annoy you too much let's get into this i assume it will be a little dig at the us because these sorts of videos always are but maybe i'll be pleasantly surprised maybe i don't know enough about europe's um, knowledge on the world but um yeah but not on the world just knowledge actually it's just intelligence um yeah we're gonna check this out links are in the description to my patreon where you can see reactions that i can't post to youtube and let's just check this video out if you've been on oh. the internet in the last two years you've probably come across videos like these can you name any country on this see these videos do piss me off i know it doesn't actually matter and i feel like this is an exaggeration because I feel like this is not the average American. It's just you picked, you've you've, you've got unlucky and you've got one of the dumber people from the country. Because you could get people like this from the UK. Like, honestly, like, trust me, like, when I say this, it's probably a similar percentage in terms of people that actually, like, know these sorts of questions. Um, You'll find people everywhere that are like this. More likely in the UK. Maybe I'm speaking more so from the UK. Because trust me, there's people that are worse than this as well. Smack. Yeah, Africa. What country did the Vietnam War happen in? Um, Canada. Uh, Can you name a country uh, on this map? Uh, Asia or Africa? That's a continent. Oh. So where's Jamaica? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> somewhere around like here. So what's the deal? Are Americans really the ignorant dum-dums the internet presents them as? Or is this just a case of stereotyping and nitpicking for clout? Well, firstly, I want to make it very clear. I've met many Brits who couldn't name shit about European, American, or just the world's general history. Same with geography. I'd bargain that most UK citizens couldn't point out North Macedonia on a map. Yeah, but come on, that's quite a hard one to get. I mean, North Macedonia, I know, I know it's in this region, but I'm not going to say I would get the exact location. And I'm going to be honest, I fit the bill for this perfectly, because I don't think I've got the best intelligence in the world either, so I feel like I'm probably someone this is aimed at to be honest and like i'd say at least 30 percent of europeans don't know what idaho is <laughs> that being said i won't lie there is a bit of an american self-glazing problem that leads to them coming across as a bit narrow-minded and i kind of get it okay the other day i was getting some of my tax shit sorted out oh my god man i get it i fucking get it guys if i was out here paying them louisiana tax brackets i would probably dick ride my country as well <laughs> however this low tax high personal spending policy that some american states have kind of means if you're well off you can go to a good school guaranteed but if you're poor you're stuck going to a public school which might be fine in some states but like bruh ah! dude coming to school you had a huge zit on you that thing was heavy some of them most normal motherfucker after going through the Lu louisiana public education system what they just turned into theo vod <laughs> Dude, I had acne so bad one time, I remember having one zit, it was kind of heavy on the side of my face, like, damn, I couldn't even, I had to have one of my buddies kind of just pull down on my other ear, you know, just to keep my head straight, because I had that heavy Z, baby, that big zitty, that baked ZD on my side, I was fully Italian, that, you know, that little bust lump, that acne, that... And obviously, bad public one, schooling man. only affects a certain fraction of the American population. But I feel like it's this fraction of Americans that Europeans make fun of, call stupid, and stereotype as the entire country. Those inbred f***ing brainless hillbillies running around like animals with their machine guns and freedom. But let's be real, these people aren't crazy rednecks. They seem pretty normal. Why can none of them tell me where Asia is on a map? That would be Asia. No, that's Africa. Why can none of them seem to grasp the concept of a country what country is the queen of england from um uh, what is the country again what is i can't believe this stuff i can't and again you'll get these sorts of interviews that you sort of have people in the uk like the same sort of answers and it's just like how are you not 
just, just come on. But maybe she doesn't know England's a country. Maybe she just she's just heard of the United Kingdom and doesn't know England's a country, which is probably even scarier to think of. But it's a country. What is a country? Canada. Well, aside from these videos being oh. relatively nitpicked, I think the main reason for Americans' general ignorance about other countries and cultures kind of comes down to how the American media presents the rest of the world to Americans. American film studios can simply make so much more money if they make foreign things seem more familiar to an American audience. I guess it makes it easier to understand and buy into and be invested in, you know? For example, I bet Mamma Mia would have flopped if they had bulky hairy Greek actors with thick Greek accents Ooh, as probably. opposed to the chiseled white American Hollywood celebrities they casted. It's set in f***ing Greece. Not a word of Greek is spoken in the entire film. I mean, they even dub over all the original songs, which are sung with Swedish accents, with relatable American sounding voices, you know? <laughs> and surprise, surprise, it became the sixth highest grossing film in the US. If they Jeez. kept this film Swedish and Greek, they would have sold zero copies, I'm telling you. This intentional America washing of foreign cultures is all throughout Hollywood. Whenever a film is set abroad, the main character still has an American accent. I mean, they even make foreign actors change their voices, even if their American accents are horrible. What's up with that boy? I heard he was out the game. Where you been at? You got <laughs> this accent is awful. Oh my god, he just sounds, he's, I mean, he sounds like what he is, a British person trying to do an American accent. All throughout Hollywood, whenever a film is... That boy, I heard he was out the game. Where you been at? I guess because it would be so catastrophic for the film studio's revenue if there was a strand of foreign culture in their blockbuster productions. This very subtle brainwashing has big consequences for the average American though. For example, less than 40 fucking percent of them have a valid passport. Partly because- I kind of understand that one, to be honest. I mean, from what I've learned, I mean, you've got like basically a whole continent in the US. You can go to any area I say any area you can go to some different parts and you have different sort of you'll be like in a different it's like you're in a different country pretty much um so i do kind of get that one um and i also got my passport only like what two years ago so i'm not really one to talk because i mean if you've not got a passport in the uk you're stuck in a country where you've just got the same stuff to do in the same country like you can't go to north i mean in the north like you can go to scotland and there's mountains and in the south, you've got some nice beaches, but there's no tropical parts of the UK and there's no, like, nothing that stands out. It's all just quite similar. So I think if the UK's passport percentage was the same as the US, that would be quite worrying, but... Yeah, I mean, the US, I can understand, to be fair. Because if you don't see any value or have never been taught anything about foreign cultures, why would you leave the US? We got every single natural landscape you could ever there imagine. Go. We got every goddamn fast food establishment you could ever dream of. We got every culture here already. We got every historical site and element you could... This is just New York's, the New York train station. To ever fathom the difference with us Europeans, aside from on average having more well-funded public schools, is that we literally need to know about foreign cultures because chances are the weather gets so peak at some point in the year that you need to annually travel to another country briefly just to find your will to live and survive another year. Whereas Americans can just get a flight to the other side of their country. No new language, no new culture, no crazy visa restrictions. It's not that easy if you live in the UK. And this is why British people are so obsessed with going on holiday. Because they're all stuck on this cold ass rainy island and humans actually need vitamin D to survive. This means your average Brit at least looks at a map once a year when planning the next lad's getaway. Which is probably more often than some Americans look at a map. Clearly. What two countries border the US? Uh, what's like the country above us and below us? South America, North America. Oh man, I do love these videos, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> South America and North America. How can us continental Europeans tell you uphold that we look at Brits the same way that we look at Americans? Damn, there we go. Typical of continental Europeans, always a European. Okay, people are getting actually angry in the comments. Oh, for God's sake, people get so butt hurt, man. I'm happy to see Poles are enjoying Max Burgers as well. Every day I thank God for not making me American, and every night I thank God for not making me British. Bro, <laughs> what the fuck? As a proper Brexit geezer, I can confirm 
my favorite country is sandwich as a canadian the fucking maple trees are speaking vietnamese <laughs> what the fuck is what is this comment section <laughs> um well there we go hopefully you enjoyed and um yeah let me know your thoughts is, is this true is this just a sort of a small like actual like reason as to why this is the case or do you agree with this or not let me know in the comments and yeah until next time i subscribe and peace